Mom, where the hell are you? Hello? Are you out shopping right now? What do you want? What do I want? I told you that I was going to be coming to your house today, right? I'm pretty sure I told you like last month I'd be coming. Oh yeah, that was today, wasn't it? Yeah, I just got to the house and you're not even around right now. Come on, Mom. Where are you right now? I'm over at Ruru's house right now. Wait, what? You're at Roy's house? Hang on, why are you at Roy's house right now? You remember why I was coming today, right? I said that I would be coming by on this weekend specifically because I wanted to bring by my fiancé. I know for a fact that I messaged you about it because I looked back and checked the messages from a month back. Oh, come on, Linda. Don't be so annoying. What did you expect me to do? I just wanted to see my adorable little Ruru. You wanted me to wait for you or something? You're just jealous. I know it. Your younger brother, Ruru, is so much more important to me. I made his favorite apple pie, just like he used to eat when he lived back with his mom. I took so much time and care into making this apple pie. You know how he's always just so busy working at that incredibly big company, right? Unlike you, who's doing Lord knows what. That's why I made a really big pie for him, so that he could eat as much of his favorite pie that he wants whenever he wants. He deserves it, unlike some other people I know. Okay, sure. Big man and big company needs his pie, but you promised me that you'd be free today, right? You said it'd be fine for, like, over a month. Yeah, you don't have to worry about bringing your fiancé by or anything. I don't really care about you or who you marry and whatever. None of that stuff interests me at all. I know that you have no interest in me, Mom. I figured that part out after living with you for a painstaking 18 years. I just wish that you'd at least keep your promise about the whole meeting my life partner. I know you don't really care about my promises, but... What is that attitude, miss? You act like I've made a habit out of not keeping my promises with you. You know that's just not true. You're lying again. Oh, you know I'm not lying. You really do skip out on my promises. Even when I was a student in school, you didn't ever come to my parents' day or anything. I know for sure you never showed up to my parent-teacher conferences. You always made it to Roy's, though. Is that really something that is surprising to you? What's the matter with taking the side of my valuable and adorable son? Unlike you, I want you to know that that boy, who has become a man, has always been better than you. Look at the facts. He was able to find employment at a huge corporation, right? I want you to understand something from my view. I don't have a husband anymore. I'm going to take care of the child that is going to look after me when I get too old to look after myself. And unfortunately for you, that child is definitely not you. You don't have to be so blunt. You don't even have to tell me about your fiancé. I'm pretty sure I remember him. He's that same guy that you used to go out with when you were in high school, right? The one from your clubs? The school that you used to attend is a really cheap private school that pretty much every bum on the street could attend. I don't really feel like I can expect much from your fiancé. Wait, don't you remember, Mom? You were the one that said that I should go to that high school. I didn't even want to attend that school, though. Well, yes, of course I suggested you go to that school. Realistically, I didn't want you attending a private school at all, but I had to make sure that our family looked elegant and classy. I wish you didn't even have to go to high school, to be honest. I had to save up money for Ruru and his tuition going forward. I wanted to set him up so that he had the best chance possible going forward, you know? But then Dad had to say something about how you had to go to at least a low-tier private school because he wanted you to get some form of education. So, I had no choice. Yeah, and I remember when that same father passed away, you just yanked away my college tuition. Do you remember how you did that to me? You said that it was rightfully yours to keep, and you even kept all of his inheritance to yourself. Which, I'm assuming, means that you're going to be using it to buy your stupid clothes. You ungrateful little bitch. You should realistically be glad that I decided to pay for even two years of your stupid college tuition. What a worthless education. 
Honestly, even after that, you worked at your silly little part-time job, which I don't even know how you managed, and paid off all your tuition your junior and senior year. You really should have just done that for your freshman and sophomore years, too. Then, I might have been able to save more money so that I didn't have to worry about my funds when I started to get old. You know how worried I am? Wait, what are you talking about, Mom? If you didn't ask me for your tuition for your freshman or sophomore years of college, then I would have been able to just add that to the inheritance that your father left behind for me. Then, I would have been able to live a much more comfortable life after I retired and got old. Wait, wait. Hang on. You're saying that I'm at fault for you using your husband's inheritance like it was nothing? I think that speaks way more to your character flaws than mine. Maybe if you had actually planned to use of your money more carefully, you would still have more money. What? How dare you speak to your mother like that? This is exactly why I hate people like you. You aren't thankful at all for someone who raised you, even when they didn't want you to begin with. Ruru is so much kinder to his mother than you are and takes much greater care of her. Okay, Mom. Whatever. You're telling me that you're not interested in talking to my fiancé, right? You're not even going to say hello? Yeah, nope. Not interested. I'm not interested in some broke girl and some random man she picked up off the street getting married. You seriously are such a pain in the butt. The least you could have done as a daughter is to find some fine young man with a lot of money so that you could help me live comfortably. If you want to live so comfortably, which I know actually means more lavishly, why don't you just go find a place to work yourself, Mom? And do you mind explaining to me why the hell I have to work for myself when I've worked so hard raising you? I put my heart and soul into raising you and your brother, so it's only common sense for you and your younger brother to be taking care of me once I'm too old to take care of myself. Do you really believe in any of that crap that you're saying right now? I mean, seriously? Yeah. You're my kids. It's totally common sense that as kids you have to come back and take care of your parents. Honestly though, you don't have to come back at all. You just go ahead and send me money consistently. I'm gonna be living with Ruru since he's actually smart and kind, unlike you. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to live with Roy? Yeah, I'm gonna sell the house that we live in now and I'm gonna be moving over to the big apartment that Ruru lives in. I've always wanted to live with Ruru, so I think it all works out for the best. I'll tell you what, I'll let everything go if you just send me, let's say, $1,000 a month. What are you talking about, let everything go? What do you need to let go? And what? $1,000 a month? I'm saying I don't care about anything as long as you just pay me my $1,000 a month. It's not like I want to ever live with someone like you anyway, so don't worry about it. Honestly, all you need to do is just pay me, okay? Just as a thank you for me and everything I've done for you. Are we done here now? I'm gonna be going out with Ruru now, so yeah. Yeah, I think both of us have decided that there is almost no point in us waiting here at all. To be honest, I don't think there's any point in us seeing you, even if you did show up. So we're gonna leave too. Hey sis, I heard you came by yesterday to introduce your fiancé, right? I'm so sorry. I didn't know anything about it. She told me something about it, and I told her to go home immediately. Of course, you know, mom being mom, she wouldn't listen to me at all. I told her as best I could to at least go say hi to your fiancé, but I'm sorry. I really didn't know. Oh, it's okay, Roy. I know you didn't know. I'm used to this at this point, and I don't ever blame you for her shenanigans. Besides, I know she's been bothering you too. She probably just went to your house out of the blue and knocked on your door without ever telling you she was going, right? Yeah, how did you know? I was seriously surprised when she was knocking at my door, and here's the kicker too, she somehow had a spare key to my house. <laughs> Can you believe that crap, sis? 
A spare key? Yeah, my girlfriend was staying over at my house from the day before yesterday too. We were supposed to relax and watch movies at my place over the weekend, but... Of course, once mom showed up, all of those plans got thrown out the window too. Wait, you're telling me that your girlfriend was staying over at your place and mom decided that she would just show up herself and stay? Yeah, you wouldn't believe the look my girlfriend gave me when we heard her open the door with her spare key. Both of us had goosebumps. We were so scared. What the hell? Yeah, well, apparently she decided that she would help herself to my spare key when she came over to my house before, so, yeah. Wait, was your girlfriend okay? I know that she was pretty much very unaccepting of any and all women that ever came close to you, right? She just didn't like them being near you at all. Yeah, she was trying to say something about her as an added bonus to breaking into my house. So you know I told her to leave real quick. You have no idea how much I had to apologize after that. Well then, um, I guess you could say that both ends of that stick were pretty shitty, huh? You know, I've been wanting to ask you, but don't you think that she's kind of leveled up after Dad passed away? Yeah, I kind of agree with that, but... You realize that she told me the other day when she ghosted me that she wanted me to pay her $1,000 a month, right? Just like a gesture of good faith for raising us. Wait, what? Why would you do that? Well, according to her plans going forward in life, she's going to be selling the house that she lives in right now and she's going to be moving herself into your apartment. She's going to have her adorable, amazing son, you, take care of her when she gets too old to take care of herself. Oh, and she wants me to fund all of this by sending her at least $1,000 a month. Wait, 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 hold on. Live in my house? I didn't hear anything about that. What the hell? I cannot have her live in the same house as me. Yeah, I kind of figured you didn't know about it when she said that. I'm sure she was just saying that because she felt like she wanted to brag about how swell you two are to me, but... I really didn't expect myself to be spot on about my hunch. I'm going to be coming up on my lease expiration date for my apartment real soon. I was actually considering that after the lease ends, I would move in with my girlfriend. I definitely don't want her to get in the way of my life either. And what the hell is she talking about? Me taking care of her. She's gotta have the money that dad left behind, right? I'm sure that's more than enough for her to live comfortably. Oh, she's already spent most of that money already. I'm pretty sure she's coming up on being bankrupt soon. Wait, what? But there's like... so much money in dad's inheritance, right? And she even told us that we needed to not expect any kind of inheritance either. Just so that she could take on all the inheritance. She kept all that to herself. Oh, come on, Roy. You really think the woman has any kind of idea how to spend money responsibly? I mean... Honestly, she keeps talking about how much we owe her or how much I should want to repay her for everything that she's ever done for me, but I don't feel like I owe her anything. I really feel like I've done more than enough to repay her for whatever she's done. Yeah, I would agree with that. You know that recently she figured out how to use my credit card information online, right? She's been doing a shopping spree on Amazon. It's literally insane. Wait, you too? Oh, so she's been using your card too? Oh my god, that woman's shame knows no bounds. Yeah. When I went back to our parents' house because it was our dad's day of passing, I'm like 99% sure that she probably looked at my credit card information when I wasn't looking and copied it down somewhere on her notepad. You've got to be kidding me. You know what she said when I asked her to stop? She started complaining. 
She said that you've already forgot all of the money that I've spent on you growing up. When I think about the fact that I have to be family with her for the rest of my life, I'm not sure that I can keep up. That was probably one of the moments where I was almost sure that I would have to completely cut ties with her. Oh, trust me, you're not the only one. I've been thinking about it every day. She keeps bringing me her damned apple pie too. I don't even really love that apple pie, and it's mediocre at best. And it's always massive, like at least make the pie a reasonable size, you know? There's no way I finish eating that in time. It's really kind, but at the same time, you're just being annoying. I'll have to think of something to deal with her too. Oh yeah, kinda switching topics real quick, but would it be alright if I go ahead and send you the wedding invitations? Oh, you guys have already picked out a venue? Yeah, we kinda just went with it and chose it yesterday. Hey, so about that, uh, would it be alright if I take my girlfriend to your wedding as well? It would be really cool. I mean, hey, if she's interested in going, then yeah, by all means. Please bring her along too. But are you sure she's okay with it? She works in the same company as me. She's in the secretarial department, but yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Okay then, sure. I'll send out my wedding invitations for you too, okay? Be sure to hand her hers too. Thanks, sis. Oh, and about both of our families meeting up with each other to get to know each other? I'll let you know when we decide on a date for everyone to be able to say hi. I'm pretty sure mom won't ever make the time of day to come say hi, but... Yeah, you're probably right. I'll be saying hi to them on behalf of your mom and dad, alright? If that's cool with you anyway. Yeah. You have no idea how great it is to have a younger brother who knows how to handle himself. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Alright, I'll message you again when everything is set in stone. Go ahead and let your girlfriend know, too. You realize that I'm literally your mother. How dare you? You chased your own mother out of your wedding? I did not raise my daughter to be this kind of terrible person. What were you thinking? No, no. I want you to tell me what the hell you were thinking, Mom. Are you being serious right now? You showed up to your own daughter's wedding in funeral attire. What are you smoking? Oh, come on. It was perfect for this sort of wedding, don't you think? I think I outdid myself. That terrible wedding with no taste or any kind of class at all. Did you see how puny it was? I would be so out of place wearing a very nice dress. Chic funeral garb is more than appropriate for a tiny little wedding like that. I really cannot believe the audacity that you have wearing funeral attire to a wedding. You need to stop this right now. That's why I said you need to leave the wedding immediately. You're seriously one of the most rotten people that I know. How could you chase your own mother out of your wedding? You come back and you open these doors to the wedding right this minute. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be letting you take any part of this wedding in that funeral outfit. Oh my gosh, did you not hear what I said? This tiny little puny wedding. It doesn't matter what I wear, it's all the same. This is a great wedding venue, and a great wedding is currently taking place right now. There are almost no guests that showed up to your wedding as well. I don't think I saw more than 20 people. I don't think you can look forward to many people being at your baby shower and giving you gifts. Are you some kind of stupid? The whole point of these weddings is to invite as many people as you can that have nothing to do with anything and make sure that you are able to make up your losses with gifts. Oh please, like you're ever going to be coming here and gifting us anything? You have no intention of celebrating our wedding. Well yeah, I'm your mother. I should be able to do everything with you for free, don't you understand? I'm actually at a loss for words. You're gonna suddenly start acting like you're some fancy mother that loves her daughter when you didn't even come to the family meeting. And besides, we haven't even invited people except people who are actually relatives in our families. There are no extra guests at this wedding. You realize the endless list of people we would have to invite if we started inviting people who aren't relatives? You need to invite more than enough people to make up your losses. Now, you're barely gonna be able to make up like 
half the amount because you didn't invite any extras. I was actually planning on taking all of the extra earnings that you made, and you've gone and ruined it. Wait, what? You were going to take all of it? What the hell are you talking about? I mean, look at the size of the wedding venue. It's so tiny, and I'm sure it's super cheap, too. Honestly, it's just screaming budget-friendly, and I mistook it for a funeral. Funeral attire is perfect for this. You really don't know who my husband is, do you? Huh? I mean, yeah, how would you know? It's not like you came to the family meeting like I asked you to. Then, you would have known. Actually, come to think of it, you didn't even take the time out of your day to come say hi to him before that. It's just your stupid boyfriend from high school, right? Your classmate or something? Yeah, he is my high school sweetheart. You're right, but you know something else? I never said anything about him being from the same school as me. That was something that you just kept saying. What? What are you talking about, Linda? Yeah, when I was going to after-school tutoring because Dad suggested that I go for college entrance exams. I met someone who was in the same grade as me. He's actually from a different high school. Yeah, I don't really care. These details are all unimportant. No matter that man only holds a wedding this tiny, which means that he's also tiny, in more ways than one. He's absolutely poor, without a doubt. Okay, I guess you're right, Mom, if that's what your definition of poor is. But to me, the heir to a giant corporation is not even close to the definition of poor. Wait, what? The heir to a giant corporation? Yeah. He's the son of a giant corporation's president. He works there as the runner-up for the next president. You know that really big company that your Ruru works at? Wait, he's the boss of Ruru? That's what I meant by there is literally no end to all of this when we start inviting people that aren't relatives. We made sure it was only relatives at this wedding. Wait, 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 hang on just a second. What are you talking about, Ruru's boss? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, do you understand that your son works at a really big corporation? Well, the president of that really big corporation is going to be my father-in-law. Are you starting to get the picture? The next president is my husband. And if you look at the chain of command, my husband is Roy's boss. They actually work together in the same department. They're very familiar with each other. You've got to be kidding me right now, right? At first, I thought it was just a joke, too, but eventually, I believed him. Who would have thunk that my own younger brother's boss would be my boyfriend? So you're telling me that your husband is really the heir to a giant corporation? Yeah, but, you know, I guess the heir to that corporation, your son's boss, is just a regular broke hobo. To me, I think that this man is incredible and hardworking. Not many people can achieve what he has. Wait, hang on a second. So you're telling me that you have successfully married into a lot of money? I mean, yeah, I guess most people would say that, but I don't know about you. Oh my god, what an incredible daughter I have! I'm so proud of you, sweetie! Now my life is going to be secured and safe too! Hang on though, Mom. I'm sorry to break this news to you like this, but I'm going to be cutting all ties with you. What did you just say to me? I know that you want to use my position as the wife of an heir and Roy working as his high corporate job so that you just get to do nothing and funnel all that sweet, sweet money my way. But I'm not going to let that fly. I'm sorry, but no. That's why we're both going to be cutting all ties with you. You will not be family with us anymore. Wait, what do you mean both? Anyway, I've got to go now because the wedding is about to start. I don't have time for you. Wait, you just hang on a second, young lady. Oh, by the way, I've already told the wedding staff that they shouldn't let you back into the wedding venue and that they know all about you, so yeah. You're not going to be getting back into the wedding, no exceptions at all. I don't think it matters how much money you pay to who, you're not going to be able to find your way back in here. How could you possibly have a wedding where you don't even have the bride's parents attending? It's alright. I don't have my parents, but I have a very kind and strong younger brother.
You hang on. You need to answer your damn phone, young lady. Stop ignoring me. What the hell is going on? I'm about to go on my honeymoon soon. You know that, right? I don't have time. Who the hell do you think you're talking to right now? You know, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you should be asking yourself that same exact question. I don't care about your stupid quips. I need to know where the hell Ruru is. Roy isn't around? I went to Roy's apartment and tried to let myself in as usual, but I couldn't get in. So I asked the security and they said that Roy didn't renew his lease. Yeah, that's because Roy has already moved out. What the hell did you just say? Yeah, he moved the day before the wedding ceremony. He didn't tell you? You remember that girlfriend that he brought to the wedding? Yeah, he moved with her. He says that he's going to be living with her now. And he didn't like his old apartment because, you know, it was meant for someone who was single. So he said that he was going to find a bigger place with enough space for the two people. Why the hell wasn't I informed about any of this? What in God's name is going on? I told you that both of us are going to cut ties. In case you didn't know, by both of us, I meant Roy and I. You're lying. I know you're lying. If he tells you where he lives now, you're going to suddenly show up at his house unannounced on the weekend and he won't be able to actually relax on his days off. You start leaving behind giant apple pies that he doesn't even want to begin with. And the best part is that you take out the spare key without asking. You even use his credit card without asking him at all and he kept asking you to stop. He said something along the lines of, When she's around, she literally drains the soul and freedom from me. What is wrong with a concerned mother going to check in on her son? That's a totally normal thing to do. Yeah, you know that both Roy and I aren't exactly ages where you should be referring to us with baby names, right? You're just using your status as mom, sorry, ex-mom, to try to get closer to Roy and I so that you can try to gather as many resources as you can, right? Are you not ashamed or embarrassed that you're using your own child's credit card to buy crap online? And my gosh, the things you're buying. I'm letting him repay me. Yeah, I think both of us have done plenty of that. We're both going to stop being your children now. Sorry, we're both out. Lucky for you, you haven't sold your house yet, I hope, and you're still at a good age to where you can work. I know you have more than enough energy to flip some burgers, right? You are giving the wedding doors a good kicking. You should just work hard so that you can earn your own money for your own food. You know all that money that Dad left behind that you used up in the blink of an eye? The important inheritance that you kept to yourself. Take this as your chance to really find out how much time and effort Dad put into his job to earn all of that money. Then, maybe you'll actually find an appreciation for hard work. I don't want to start working now! I don't want to live a life that's so poor and boring and mundane. I want to live a lavish life. You know, I don't know about living a boring life and being poor, but I think that's totally up to you. If you decide to work, then you can probably get a good amount of money saved up. Ruru should be living with me, his mother, his flesh and blood. Not some random woman that he picked up off the side of the street. I'm special, not her. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I actually spoke to her before the wedding. She works over at the Secretarial Department in a massive corporation. I'm pretty sure she's a clever woman and she's very worthy of Roy. They're good for each other. Secretarial Department? Yeah, they apparently met at the company. I don't work in the same company as my husband, so I really felt a little jealous about the whole thing. You should hear the story about how they met and started dating. Oh well, it doesn't matter because I don't work anymore. I retired and I'm going to be a stay-at-home wife. Wait, so you're telling me that Ruru's girlfriend also works at a giant corporation like he does? That means that she must be making a really good amount of money, right? Oh, here we go again. Are you trying to get more money? I was planning on living with Ruru for the rest of my life, but, you know, now that I think about it, I guess I'm okay with living with them. I need them to get married so that all three of us can live together and they can fund me. Yeah, that's not happening. 
I spoke to Roy, and Roy has zero interest in ever living with you from now on. I don't know where you got that idea. Also, I'm pretty sure that he's definitely not going to be telling you about him getting married, if they get married. What? Why the hell not? I mean, why would he? You literally showed up at my wedding in funeral attire, and then didn't regret it. I mean... I'll let you in on a secret. I really didn't like that. I found it hurtful. It seems like you were never interested in my wedding anyway. Not that I'm really surprised by that. To be honest, it's not like you were ever interested in me as a human being either. Don't worry though. I'll let you go, Mom. You can feel free to do as you like without forcing yourself near me. I'm not going to be forcing myself to have to spend time around you when all you do is be toxic around me. Now you just hang on a second. You know... Roy and I are actually incredibly thankful that you have given birth to us. Thank you for going through a painful labor to bring us into this world. But I think that from here on out, we all need to just go on our ways. Well, you specifically need to go on your way, and we'll go on our own way, together. I think that's just what's best for all of us right now, so let's just end it right here. Hang on just a second. Okay, I have a great idea. I'm okay with living with you for the rest of my life, too. I'll sell the house that Dad left behind for me so that I have a little bit of money. Then I can live with you and your husband. I'll even take great care of the grandkids, too. If you ever have kids, I swear, I'll babysit them. Yeah, I'm gonna say no thanks. No, I can't have you turn me down. I want you to keep living life alone from now on, Mom. Understand that this is what happens when you push people away. You've already stopped all of my credit cards, too? Why would you do such a thing? Whose money am I supposed to spend from now on if I want a new bag? Your own money? I am telling you I don't want to work. Oh my gosh, you're such an idiot. You know, if you weren't so picky about where you want to work, there's plenty of places hiring. And besides, with how much energy you have, I don't think you'll ever get sick or too tired from working. You've got a lot of kick, I'll tell ya. Linda, I need you to keep talking to me because this is where you really need to take care of your parents. Oh crap, I think it's my boarding call. I gotta go now, so I guess this is my goodbye. Wait, just hang on a second. Are you just going to abandon your mother like that? How dare you! I can't get in touch with Ruru at all. I keep messaging and calling him, and he just won't answer. You managed to marry into so much money, and I don't get to see any of that money? I don't want this. I don't like this at all. I don't want to be thrown away by my own son and daughter. Both Roy and I blocked every single point of contact that we could think of and proceeded to delete her information from our contact list. We were sure to block her on every outlet and every piece of social media that we could think of. Apparently, Mom did just randomly show up at the company that my younger brother and my husband work at, but, you know, it's a giant company. The security there was incredibly tight and they managed to catch her early. They had her politely escorted back out of the building to go home. At the moment, my mother is working hard, trying to find where we live. She needed money to exist, so... She's apparently working at a supermarket near the house she lives at. She's always complaining to her co-workers about how she shouldn't be working at her age. All of the other co-workers who are younger than her don't like her. They're all avoiding her because they know that she's a toxic woman and the bosses are constantly chewing her out for her poor performance at work. <laughs> 